Hello, Aries. Welcome to your mid-January reading. This will be general for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. We're going to take a look at the energy coming into the reading. Challenges, recent past, what's on your mind? Why is everything happening? What will you experience in the near future? How you see yourself? What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? Hopes and fears, and what is the outcome? We're also going to clarify and open up this reading. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on. Coming into the reading, what do we got? King of Pentacles. So some of you could be connecting with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, daddy with a pentacle. But listen, if this is love, somebody's coming in or you're surrounded by an energy that's very loyal, successful, money's important, career's going well, but he's also very, very slow, very practical to make decisions because he's all about commitment and relationship. Money looks good. King of Pentacles, that's the best card you can get really for your stability with finances. What's challenging or influencing the Eight of Pentacles for Earth? So again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, working hard. Some of you guys are going to have some abundance when it comes to your career. You're, you're putting a lot of hours. You're putting in the effort to bring in that stability. The King of Pentacles is, again, very, very good money, very stable with your finances. Um, <clears throat> also, too, if you're not connecting um, in love with an Earth sign, this is just somebody, again, who's very loyal. They're all about commitment and stability and nurturing. They're going to put effort and work. What's on your mind? The Empress. Beautiful. Major Arcana for Libra or Taurus. So this is abundance. I'm telling y'all, career, money, all of that looks really good for y'all for the second half of January. She's, you know, expanding, moving. The energy is very fertile as far as, you know, new beginnings. Somebody wants to feed a connection or give birth to a new idea, but there's a lot of abundance. Look at all the beauty around the Empress. She's all about love and creation. What happened in the recent past, Aries, you got the Ace of Cups. So this is a gift from the universe. That cup is water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be that some of you have found new love. Everybody's time frame is different. Maybe this hasn't come in for y'all yet, but some of you it has. This is an outpouring of emotion. Also, the gift here from the universe, Aries, could also be a gift that makes you emotionally happy, right? This abundance that you're about to well, experience. It looks nice. What's the situation? Why is everything happening? Three of pentacles. There's those pentacles again. Others are going to want to collaborate with you, build with you. This is that stepping stone. It's a discussion. It's being on the same page. It's teamwork. So this, again, could go either way. Relationships, dating, having conversations. This can be a social card. You go out, you discuss the future. What are your plans? And everybody's on the same page. But again, as far as work goes, this is building a team and people coming to you, wanting your help, wanting you to build with them. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the six of wands. This is getting that recognition for a job well done. You got Leo energy there, Aries. But again, the, the wands are your fire. So again, this isn't his first rodeo. I mean, this is a lot of, look, the, the horse is even side eyeing like this again. He likes to be paraded around, but he's getting attention for a job well done. There's some sort of success or victory coming in, and it's probably coming from more than one person if this is outside of love and relationships. And again, some of you, um, you know, you might even work from home, you own a business or you're doing something on your own. And this is people coming to you because they know that you do a job well done and you will receive that praise and recognition. How do you see yourself? Seven of wands. You're fighting for something you want. There's your fire. There's your Aries energy. This is standing your ground. You're not backing down. You're defending your money, your career, your business. This is also fighting for relationships. You may be a little defensive because I think, again, with the Three of Pentacles, you want to be able, you want to be on the same page. You want to collaborate and build. This is very serious, like long-term energy. And I think you're going to be telling somebody that. All right, let's pull you down so you can actually see your cards, Aries. That would be helpful. What's in your environment coming in? This is external to you. Again, with the pentacles, six of pentacles. This is that equal give and take. You put in a certain amount of time and hours to work, but you're receiving recognition. It's balanced, right? This is no more one-sided, beep, beep, beep. This is, I want to, you know, I, I want to give to you as much as you're giving to me. So in relationships, no more one-sided BS, right? And this is also receiving you know, money for a job well done, right? You're offering a service, you're doing a good job. And I tell you what, for those Aries here who have a side hustle or you own a business or you're thinking about doing that, man, this is amazing energy, all right? What's going on in your emotions? King of Wands. Some of you are manifesting another fire sign. 
Now we got Daddy with a wand, Leo, Sag, Aries. A lot of you, you're taking on this energy, male or female. Let's talk about it. Well, because the King of Wands goes after what he or she wants, right? Very, very um, confident. He's a go-getter, passionate about something, right? This is either a relationship again or something where you're building a future and a lot of abundance is coming, right? This King of Wands takes action. He's very, very attracted to someone as well. But again, in relationships, I wouldn't be surprised if you're dating or you're, you know, in some sort of situation, there's going to be a conversation here. Yeah, that's what I want too. It's an agreement with that three in the upright. What's your outcome, Aries? You got the moon. So major arcana for Cancer or Pisces, usually Cancerian energy. So the moon is using that intuition, right? Can be a little bit of worry or anxiety. I think this is more intuition. This could be the unknown. So again, there's this three of pentacles is why everything's happening. You may be surprised, right? That you're going to start building and collaborating either at work with others, with your business or in relationships. But with that moon, something could go like could lean in, in a way that you weren't expecting. That moon is the unexpected. It's things that are hidden in the dark. So we're going to find out. We're going to clarify and see what the hell is going on. Real quick, um, I am going to extend this reading. I want to find out more about the outcome and what happens after this outcome. So we'll see where this takes you. And uh, anybody showing up here, we're going to see what their next move is for you as well, whether that's love or career. Uh, we'll extend the reading. Also, too, real quick, um, I am going to put my GoFund link down below in the description box. I'm making a real dent. You know, we're getting a lot of progress. A lot of y'all have already contributed. Thank you so, so much for that. I actually created it to help my channel continue to grow as well as my business outside of the channel. Um, you know, there's been some stuff going on here on YouTube, which then kind of trickles out to my business. And, um, you know, listen, I want to keep creating creating videos and readings for y'all. And um, so I've set that up similar to a Patreon. Uh, but you know, it's, it's helping me when times have been really tough. And um, it's needed right outside of the business for supplies and things like that. Also too, just day to day, you know, living, there's been some censorship stuff going on. And it has really, really kind of hit my business hard. And um, again, anything you can donate is very much appreciated and will help the channel to continue to grow. So thank you for all of your beautiful support, Aries. All right, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading and see what's up. All right, so coming in, we know we've got this King of Pentacles. Woo, what just jumped out? The Queen of Swords in reverse. We're gonna put that on that King of Pentacles. So coming in again, um, some of you have been a little bit hurt probably in relationships, so you might be a little bit on the fence whether you can trust this person or not. Queen of Swords in reverse, typically Libra energy. She came out in reverse. So typically she's been kind of hurt, right? She's been backed into a corner, so her guard is up. Sometimes she's got a sharp tongue as well, and she will cut you off. But it's because she's been pushed to that, right? This king of uh, pentacles, though, to me, I mean, he's in the upright. So whomever this is, if this is relationships, this is somebody who wants to grow, wants to bring success to a relationship, is very nurturing. But I think a lot of you will be in that queen of swords energy in reverse. So your guard is going to be up probably also while you're a little bit defensive. So we'll see how the rest of this plays out. Outside of relationships, that queen of swords in reverse, again, is just no nonsense. Um, some of you have probably dealt with either people at work or if you have a side hustle or a business or something like that, probably in the past you've dealt with some bullshit. So you're taking that queen of swords in reverse and letting people know, listen, I'm good at what I do. Don't bring me any negativity, right? Why is the Eight of Pentacles influencing that energy? What is this? And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's your fire again. So there's an attraction. Somebody sees or will know that you're kind of a little bit hurt. Maybe you feel a little scorn from the past, right? But they're gonna they're willing to put in that day in, day out effort to show you, right? Because that ace of wands is like, I feel the fire, I feel the passion. Somebody's super attracted to you, Aries, as well. And so this is that spark. This is, you know, and again, for a lot of you, this will be a newer connection. Some of you, it hasn't even come in yet, but you got to just let your guard down a little bit. I think you're a little, you're going to be a little bit on the fence, right? That might be why that moon's in the outcome. We'll find out more. But this is an attraction. Now, again, that Ace of Wands is also creativity. We know you have something on your mind outside of dating and love. 
that has abundance. It, you want to grow something here. And the Ace of Wands can certainly talk about that as well. Some sort of spark, some sort of new beginning when it comes to, again, growing your career, your money, your business. What's on your mind is the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. Look at that. Look who's showing up again, Aries. It's the King of Wands, Daddy with a Wand, again. Leo, Sag, Aries, a lot of you are taking on that masculine energy, whether you're male or female. It's drive. It's passion. It's forward movement. It's taking action, right? It's going for something. It's very much, very confident energy. And it all has to do with abundance and beauty and growth and something that you're nurturing. I love this reading. It's badass. But again, some of you, again, are super attracted to someone in love as well. And you want to grow something here with someone. They want to grow with you. But again, you're kind of bringing a little bit of baggage into this uh, connection. And listen, we've all done it, right? But just, you know, maybe put your guard down a little bit here. What happened in the recent past? You've got the Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of water showing up there. Again, it could have been a new love connection or for some of you, it's coming in here. And it's, it's a gift. It's an offer. And with that Six of Cups, this is somebody who wants to nurture you. It's a very... Um, familiar energy. Could it be the past? It could, but to me, it feels a little bit newer, right? And I think that six of cups is that energy of like, gosh, I feel like I've known you before, or, you know, like you feel like there's a past life connection or something like that. It just feels good. There's something very kind of um, emotional and warm and beautiful about a connection. Some of you are working with children or you're thinking about working with children too. This, that's this new creativity. That empress can also be a mother, but also very maternal, nurturing, right? What's the situation? Why is it all going down? Three of Pentacles with the hanged man, major arcana for Pisces. So again, in love, whether this is an established relationship, it's new, you're dating, whatever. I think for a lot of you, it'll be newer if it hasn't happened yet. This is kind of starting to see things in a new perspective. On the Three of Pentacles, yes, I can build. Oh, okay, we do want the same things. I don't have to be the Queen of Swords in reverse, right? You're, you're starting to let your guard down. This is trusting, right? Because you are seeing things in a new light. And it's because of the three. You're going to find out that you're on the same page with somebody here. That's just what this feels like. Um, that hangman can be quite spiritual energy as well. So again, some of you in work, career, something you're doing on the side is nurturing. It's loving. It's spiritual Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Six of Wands and the Magician. There you go, creating. You've got our first major arcana there, so we've got all the tools we need. You've got Gemini, Virgo, energy. But this is, I got the passion, the stability. I got those pentacles, which is the money. And I've got that mental energy, right? The communication to create. And I'm telling you, you're going to receive your accolades. You're going to receive a lot of recognition for something that you're creating. Very powerful energy. Some of you guys have already started to manifest this. Also too, manifesting something that's more balanced in relationship. Somebody that's going to give you the attention that you deserve. There's going to be recognition here that you can use that power and create and move forward. It's very, very magnetic energy. That six of wands with the magician is very like, it's almost like blinding. You're so attracted to someone and you feel such a pull towards someone. How do you see yourself? Seven of wands, Aries, you do. And the high priest is beautiful. So again, we got a major arcana there. It's Pisces. It's Pisces turn. So with the high priestess, this is you using that intuition. You're going to come across a little bit mysterious. Again, I think you'll be a little defensive whether this is love or your business career, right? You're fighting for something, but you're also protecting your energy because of the high priestess. She comes across as very mysterious, sometimes very quiet, a little bit closed off, but it feels mystery, mis mysterious to me, especially with this magician coming into the near future. What's in your environment coming in? You've got the six of pentacles with the 10 of wands in reverse. There's your fire again. That 10 of wands in reverse is you're closing out a cycle that's been very heavy, burdensome pressure, right? So because you're going to see something's more balanced, whether that is working hard towards something and receiving, right? I'm putting in the work, but I'm also receiving something in return, whether that's actually money, um, a pat on the back, whatever this is. So it'll lighten the load a little bit for you. I think that you're going to come into some money here as well with something that you're creating and it will help lighten that load. I think you're also going to see that there's a relationship or there's somebody here around you who's manifesting this beautiful energy 
and you're going to realize they're not just taking from me, right? This isn't going to be one-sided, right? So it's going to relieve the pressure of that Ten of Wands in reverse. What's going on in your feels? So in your emotions, you're feeling, you're feeling Aries, you're feeling the King of Wands. Why? And justice. Major Cotter for Libra, balance. Let's balance the scales. Again, you've got balance, just like that Six of Pentacles. So this is in your emotions. This is finally something going your way, right? This is right over wrong. It's decisions that bring balance to your life. It's truthful. You know, it's reconciling differences. It's the universe coming in and saying, listen, take action. You can take action, right? I think as January moves into February, if this is love, or even if it's just you're casually dating this person, you're going to feel this sense of a little, like, almost like peace. Like, okay, I don't have to be so guarded, right? I can trust this person. I'm physically drawn to them. I can feel more confident, King of Wands, because justice is finally on my side. It feels like there's just more balance coming into your, your life when it comes to dating and relationships, Others of you, again, are going to finally feel the balance as far as, you know, I'm putting time and energy into this business, the side hustle, work, my career, whatever this is, and I'm getting what I deserve back, right, with justice. It's going to raise your confidence and it's going to want to make you do even more because that King of Wands is busy because he's feeling passion towards something. What's this outcome? You've got the moon. Why is this here? Cancerian energy. And yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Abundance. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Pentacles. More money, more stability, more career. Nine of Pentacles is working independently. Even if you are in a team, if you're in an office environment, you're working with others, you're doing something solo and independently, which is bringing in even more Pentacles, right? And with that moon there, I feel like it's the unknown. I feel like um, something you're not expecting as far as bonus, more money, more clients, more referrals, something like that comes in. You see it building here and you can feel the energy manifesting. You get a little bit here with that six of pentacles, which relieves some financial pressure, right? Instability, it starts to grow. And then by the end of the month, it's like you get more, right? With that moon. And it's because of the nine of pentacles. So again, nurturing energy, confident, doing, I mean, look how abundant every, I mean, she's got a bird. Aries, she has a bird. So again, this is money is really good. Career is good. You're doing things on your own. You're building. It's beautiful energy. Now, as far as relationships go, you got to let go of that moon energy. I think in love relationships, that moon is that anxiety and that worry. I'm always going to be alone. It's never going to work out. But look at all this energy. The king is in the upright. The king of pentacles is in the upright. The king of wands is in the upright. You're manifesting. It's balance here. And it's all about this three of pentacles and the hanged man. Change your perspective. Don't let that moon get in the way. That is the unknown and the nine of pentacles. And I really feel like a lot of y'all are like, okay, well, if this doesn't work, I, I can still be on my own. I'm okay. You know, don't self-sabotage. What's this nine of pentacles about? And the three of cups. This is going out. This is dating. This is having fun. It's joy. It's happiness. You've got another three in the upright which is forming an agreement. It's reconciling your differences. I think a lot of you are protecting your energy here. The unknown, like if this works out great, but if not, I'll, you know, I'm okay. I can be on my own. You know, I'm nurturing myself. I'm surrounded by abundance. I'm confident and that's great. But with this three of cups, the universe is trying to tell you, get out there. This is dating. This is reconciling those differences. This is joy and happiness and having fun, right? This is very good energy. The only thing, just don't get in your own way here, Aries, right? Let this happen. I'm Mom here is not worried about it. I like this energy across the board. I love it, love it, love it for job, career, business, some in some facet, some way that you're making money. Now, in the extended reading, we're going to see why that moon's there. So what is that fear? What's that word? What is the unknown? What happens after this three of cups? If this is a relationship, does it go beyond just kind of casually dating? We're going to find out. All right, let's do the extended. I will see y'all over there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Help this video get out to as many people as possible. You'll always do. And I just thank you so much. You guys support my channel more than anybody. I love it, love it, love it. Let's do more. Let's let's get this channel moving and shaking. And um, guess what? I love you hard. Love me hard back. I'll see y'all on the extended. Take care.